Hi, welcome to our guide on how to demo Lifelag. Lifelag is a visual learning platform that makes it really exciting to learn and teach K-12 science with interactive 3D models and augmented reality, as well as virtual or mixed reality. So let's take a look at the regular Lifelag app. Lifelag introduces teacher curricula and student courses for next generation science standards and common core, including more than 1000 interactive lessons and lesson plans and more than 1400 interactive 3D models right inside of these courses and curricula. The main benefits of Lifelog are that it increases learning passion and engagement of students in the classroom, sparks curiosity, and improves learning outcomes in science, while it makes it really efficient and easy for teachers to prepare for their science classes and really easy to explain super difficult concepts and topics in science. There are actually different ways how you can demo uh, the, the, the interactive 3D content of Lifelike. So the first one is starting with the curriculum, uh, with the teacher curricula and student courses and lesson plans. The second option might be a bit quicker way how to really wow and impress your audience, which is starting with the 3D models right away. The third option is showing my library where I save my favorite models and where I can use even my own created content. But let's go ahead with the first curriculum. So let me choose one of the teacher curricula that include six titles uh, for science courses for middle schools and high schools and I'm going to choose Earth and Space Sciences for middle school, which is a sixth grade course. Our curricula include anything that a teacher needs to uh, drive a, a course and the lesson, really like a lesson by lesson from the beginning to the end of the school year. So each of them includes more than 70 lessons. And... Each of them is aligned to next generation science standards and common core and what's more correlated to the most commonly used science textbooks in the US. So each curriculum has different textbooks, obviously. So let me choose the Pearson textbook right here. And as you can see, the correlate using the correlations help me reorganize the structure of the curriculum so it goes hand by hand with the textbooks that I chose. This makes it super simple for teachers that use uh, textbooks to use Lifelike as a 3D supplement for, for their textbooks and for the curriculum they're using. However, Lifelike curricula can be used as, as a core curriculum as well. So let me choose uh, one of the examples of, of a typical lesson. So let me go, for instance, to the unit 16 to show you uh, a lesson plan about the weather and water in the atmosphere. Every single lesson plan includes all resources that a teacher needs, including learning objectives, different activities, standard alignment for NGSS and Common Core textbook correlations, and the 5e instructional model proven to be an efficient way how to teach science. What's more, each lesson plan includes an interactive 3D model. So I can zoom in the 3D model to engage my classroom right in the lesson. I can also rotate that 3D model, but I can also explore more. So by clicking this button, I get the full detail of a 3D model. Now, all the interactivity of 3D model gets to a new dimension. So just notice the rich detail of the 3D model 
that I can really rotate and uh, be able to see it from all the different angles, but I can also uh, identify the different parts of the 3D model by clicking on the labels right here on the left side or actually clicking the different parts of the model itself. This enables me to really engage my students in, in, in deep learning by learning visually in a hands-on and really interactive way. Let me show you one example how I can definitely engage my classroom uh, in learning really difficult and sometimes perhaps a bit challenging topics. Let me switch to AR, which is augmented reality. This technology enables me to uh, lay or place the 3D model on top of what I see with my web camera. So this is a feature built right inside of the app. You can see me now acting with the 3D model right, uh, right on the camera. What you can do is that I can, you know, use the selfie mode and take a snapshot or a selfie here, or you swap a camera and uh, place the 3D model on top of what you see in front or around you. This enables students to interact with virtual objects uh, that they would not be able to meet and really place them nearly physically into their classroom. So aside from taking screenshots, I can also record a video right here so my students can create their own unique content that I can use for assessments or assignments or different types of activities. Let me go back. Students love this technology and use it every day. So this is a great way how a teacher can speak the language that students use, so to say. The other way how students can create their own content and how I can engage them with the 3D model is the share button. So by doing so, I can take snap, snapshots, uh, screenshots of those 3D models. And I can even look and really zoom in the different details of the 3D models they want to save and perhaps use in my science reports or, you know, or if I'm a teacher to use them for preparation for my class. So this is not just the way how students can create their own content, but that also enables a teacher to uh, you know, prepare for their presentation or instruction or any kind of uh, resource they need for the lesson. So they can download, they can download those uh, snapshots in their device, or they can export them to the PowerPoint, which is a great way how to really enrich uh, the presentation. Uh, with, uh, with, the, with, with the images and with links to the 3D models. There are also other features like introduction, uh, which provides an instruction and information about every single 3D model or bilingual uh, option that enables to show different languages and to learn languages really visually. So this is, this is great for English language learners. Now I can return back to the lesson plan and continue with the rest of the lesson, or I can also return to the curriculum to browse some other lessons, or I can go back to the home page to continue exploring the app. So this was one of the ways how the lifelike content can be presented with the focus on curricula and the lesson plans uh, and, and, and the range and the scope of the content of lifelike. Don't forget that you can also use the filters right here. So you can filter the content through subjects or grades or you can use the search button to use uh, to, to search for lesson plans or 3D models. 
The other way how to demo Lifelike's 3D content is going right away to the interactive 3D section and wow the audience with the 3D models right away. That is not finding the 3D models within the curricula and within the lesson plans, but really showing the whole library and the whole list of the libraries with 3D models. As you can see, Lifelikes includes mostly and focuses mostly on science. So you can see life science, including human biology, animal biology, and plant biology, and, and paleontology, physical science with physics and chemistry, earth and space sciences with geology and astronomy, math and ma mathematics with geometry, and social science, sciences with, with, with culture. Uh, now let's take a look at different types of those 3D models. So we've already been able to see the animated uh, interactive 3D model, which is a 3D model uh, that is in motion and that you know has different components uh, highlighted. This is a type of a 3D model that has also uh, layers. So you can kind of like peel off the 3D model and uh, really highlight just very specific parts of it. Like you can see me uh, highlighting the tongue. These models tend to be very impressive to show to the audience. The other type of a 3D model would be just a stable, regular 3D model. Uh, which is not in motion, but still provides a very specific, very, very, very concrete uh, details of, of different components. So again, you can see me highlight different parts of the 3D model and to be able to identify what I'm actually seeing, rotate and zoom in. All of those 3D models have the same features, including AR. There's something that you might consider to start your demo with, and that is a deep zoom, microscopic deep zoom image. All those uh, zoom images contain uh, this description, zoom. So let me, uh, let me um, uh, show you what it looks like. I can either use my touch screen or I can use this this um, this button uh, to scroll down, and this enables me to zoom in the structure of the male fern, understand how it reproduces, and have students understand the scale of. You know, a scale and the size of, of the topic and content. This is usually a great way how to wow audience right away. Sometimes I really start um, the, uh, the presentations with the zoom in that really catches the attention of the audience. And then I go ahead with the curricula and, uh, and other 3D models. There are different other uh, deep zooms uh across the different um uh different uh libraries here in lifelike there are there are you know other types of uh 3d models here uh let me show you a few more one of them is this um, diagram let's say of a very specific process of photosynthesis. So once again, these types of content um, like anatomy and structures and peeling of the 3D content are able to have teachers explain really difficult concepts and topics that are usually very difficult to demonstrate for students and uh, to, to understand for students. So, so this kind of uh, simulation includes the chemical reaction so it includes some you know uh, additional content to that and this is the kind of content that teachers love to see because uh, textbooks usually fail and are not able to to provide 
such a you know such an accurate and and visual explanation so i can tap the different parts of that reaction or i can once again identify the different uh, or click on different parts of that reaction and be able to see you know where i can find it on on the model and perhaps you know something else I'd like to show you here, which is, you know, a type of model that does not contain so much of anatomical detail, but it's simply, you know, really super cute for especially elementary uh, school teachers to, to use and look at. This is a kind of a content that, that, that younger students especially love to use. And this is a kind of a content that is being used mostly on the elementary school level at, at schools. So we see an elephant, you know, it's not so impressive to deal with the different parts of the 3D model, but where it really shines is the use of augmented reality. So as I showed you before, you can, uh, you can obviously do a selfie with that 3D model and, and do different type of funny things, but you can basically place, I'm, I'm just swapping the camera here, you can place um, that 3D model in front of you. So let me swap the camera. And I'm placing this 3D model really in front of me on the table So that's kind of like a really simple to use augmented reality that's bringing virtual objects in the environment uh, of the classroom. So what I suggest to do is that when you're demoing, you know, you place uh, the model above, you know, among the people, among your audience, and you take screenshots. Uh, I did it by tapping this take screenshot button or record uh, um, um, a quick video of an elephant walking among the people. So these are some of the content, uh, some of pieces of the content that you can find in Lifelike. Uh, perhaps one thing to highlight here is that it's important to, uh, to, to, to prepare for every demo. So. What you see here, this, this little cloud here, um, indicates that the 3D model has not been downloaded to the device yet. And uh, once you see this cloud, you simply need to tap the 3D model and it starts downloading. And once you download it, it will be always available right away. So this is just FYI, uh, not to be surprised when you'd like to demo some of the content and you realize you still need to download it, perhaps uh, without an access to, to connections. So it's always good to uh, prepare for, uh, for your demo. Voila. The third way how you can access and show Lifelike's interactive 3D content is um, uh, going to my library section where you find the last use lesson plans, 3D models, and the, the, the lesson plans and, and, and 3D models that you have added in your favorite. So this is what I have done before. You can simply put it and remove it from your favorites right here. You can also open them or view the summary of what those 3D models include. Uh, you can also access your own content, which is available in the Windows 10 native app, where you can put and place the 3D models in your own lesson plans in PDF. The tutorial for this will be available later on. We don't have enough time to cover that in this demo today. You saw me showing you three different sections of Lifelike providing three different ways how you can uh, you know, start your demo. You can, of course, demo all those three sections uh, in one piece. Uh, but I think it's, it's good to start with the curricula and lesson plans when you talk to decision makers that 
you know that might want to see the the, uh, the the amount of the content and how comprehensive the the whole content of lifelike is while going right away to interactive 3d models uh, section it provides you the possibility of you know wow your audience really right in the beginning and then perhaps to demo the curricula my library section enables you to really save um, your, uh, you know, the, the content that you like for any kind of demo, so you have always available it uh, just in, in, in two clicks. And that's it for today. Uh, there's much more in Lifelike. Uh, please don't hesitate and contact us if you were interested in learning more about any particular features in Lifelike, and we're happy to schedule a personal training. If you wanted to learn more about use cases, more benefits, classroom stories, or what we offer to schools, please visit us as lifelike.com. There are also virtual reality and mixed reality uh, components in Lifelike that are offered as separate products that are not part of this demo. Please let us know if you wanted to learn more about how to demo these. Thanks for watching.